Welcome to the car race. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to make a two-player racing game. So just for a quick example here, here's how it works. You hit the space bar, and all the cars come back to start, and then the green light goes, and then you hold down arrow to move, and the other player holds W. And you move along the racetrack, and if you hit any of the red lines, you go back to start. The way you win is by going all the way around and hitting the finish line. Now notice the red line, the closer it gets to the track, the harder you make it. The reason the red line's there is because otherwise you can just cut through the grass and win. Notice there's a red line here too, because what it does is it makes it so you can't just go backwards and win. So if you look on the stage, I have multiple stages. The way you draw them is you just click on the new backdrop button, get the paint bucket out, pick a color, paint it, hit the paintbrush, make it thick so it's easier to draw, pick a second color, and you just can draw a track. So you can either use the this line tool, the paintbrush, if you want to be more exact, you could use the line tool. And it lets you do more, a little bit sharper lines. So just decorate it however you want it to be. You want to be on hot lava, it could be on hot lava, lava, whatever you want to do. So with the sprites, all I do is you could either get a sprite from the library, so you could find maybe a car you like online, or you could just draw a car real easy. So you click on the paintbrush right there. And then you paint, and the way I did that was I just use the square tool. Make sure to click on the fill. I made a little square. You pick your color. If you mess up, you can just paint it back over. Then to do the windshield, I just made another square. Real quick. And the wheels, you can make a square. You could do it like that. Or you could kind of be cheating, and you could kind of copy and paste a little bit if you want. But it's not exact. You're going to make it small. So the smaller the car is, the easier it is to fit on the track. A big car is hard to fit and you're going to code one car. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to show you the code here. It's in the instructions. It's pretty much the space bar is going to start it. And the score is going to be set to zero. And it's going to reset the time every time. You set the size smaller. Everything's color coded. So this comes from here. This comes from sensing. This comes from looks. You just got to match up the colors. And this forever, notice the forever hugs all this code. It tells you down moves up moves this way, down moves that, left and right turn. If you touch red, you go back to start. If you touch a finish line, you go back to start, you get a point, and you say the player wants time. And if the P's pressed, it pauses the game and stops it. So you can always stop this and relook at the code. You can look at the written instructions. I'm just showing you this. And pretty much what's going to happen is you make one car, you're just going to copy it and you're going to make a second car. So make sure when you're doing the score, make sure you hit for the sprite only, otherwise both cars will be sharing a score and you want them to be separate. I At the end I want you to fin notice the finish line is up and separate. I know I want you to make the game your own, so what I did is I drew a stoplight and I make it, I copied it three times <coughs> and make it go red, yellow, green and say go so the players know when to start. So notice right here in the space bar is clicked, and it goes one costume, wait, second costume, wait, wait, and it waits three seconds because the three seconds is there because if you noticed here, it takes three seconds to glide back to the start. And what I have you wait one second here because Scratch can move so fast that your eyeball won't be able to even see it. So you have to just have it wait a little bit. You could make it smaller, you could make it half a second, you could make it 0.1 of a second, but it'll be very quick. So I just did one second. Another cool idea if you want is that this guy right here, he made it so that in his car racing game, this little laser actually shoots at you. See, it shoots little targets at you and you have health. So the way he did that is a little complicated. I'm going to show you the code in case you want to copy him. It follows the X and Y position, follows the turret. The turret points always towards the car. It, shoot, it repeats until it touches the edge. If it hits the car, so this is the missile right here. So it always the ball always appears at the end of the turret. And it follows the car. If it touches the edge, it hides. And the turret's right here, so if you want to add a little turret to your game, go ahead and pause this video and you can add it to it after you make your two cars. And if you have any questions, just ask and have fun and make it your own. Feel free to change colors. You could use some of the animals in here. There's different animals. You don't have to use a car. You don't like cars. I'm not a huge fan. You could use anything you want. There's bats, all kinds of bugs, bug race. So just enjoy your introduction to Scratch and follow the instructions. And just ask questions from a teammate or from the teacher if you need help. Good luck.